I know you're having issues with your relationship. Trust me, I know the feeling. I've, I've been in the one of the most worst breakup. I use rose quartz and amethyst for my healing and trying to fix a relationship. Here, try it. At least, just try. Frustration and more frustration by the day. They say life gets better. But for you and your person, that seems far from happening. The only thing that you have experienced with your person is this amount of stress, anxiety, panic attacks, frustration, and more agony that you have ever experienced. Is this what it means to be in love? Is this the kind of relationship that you deserve? Those are only few of the questions that you have within you. Because the Nine of Swords is a card of fear that when? When is this all going to be over? When is it all going to be done? You've tried to be victorious in this relationship. Ace of Swords was the very first card. And until now, there is no victory. It's a rabbit hole of lies and deception. It's a rabbit hole of breaking down and crying and, and just pure misery. Is this where you have led your life? Nine of Swords. At the price of love, Ace of Cups. Is this what it means to be in love? Nine of Swords and the Ace of Cups. The price that you have to pay. You love this person. I won't be here if you don't. You actually think about them every time. What they're doing, how they're doing, and if there's anything that they need from you. There are times that you're angry. Three times that you say, can't, can't do this. But every time you go back and circle to the part how you really feel genuinely to your person, love wins still for you. It feels like you, you're left with no choice but to be the angel in this relationship. Because you are an angel with the Ace of Cups. You are this giving person. And you want to give it all. Regardless, you don't have anything anymore to give. You'll do it. Right? That's your nature. Not balanced though, Libra. Not balanced at all. Hmm. Four of Cups. You're restless here. You don't really understand anymore the day. You just keep thinking and thinking, no, I still love them. I have to stay. Where am I going anyway? I love this person or I know I love this person. I know I love this person, but you're not even obsessed. You're more scared to let go because you don't know what's going to happen to your person. You're scared for them, not for you. You're a go-getter. You've survived or you will survive. But what about the person that you love? The person that you love. The lovers. 
amazing, right? I'll do everything and anything for love. Of course you will. You're ruled by Venus. If this is what it means to love, then okay. Feels like the Capulet. Basically, Romeo and Juliet. I'll do anything and everything for this kind of feeling. To be with them, for us to be together, for me and my soulmate to be together. I'll give it all. Queen of Wands. You'll give it all. Yes, you will. And yes, you are. But are you getting it though? Or will you get this connection? Because it appears that you guys are not together. Queen of Cups and the Devil. You ain't the Queen of Cups. I can tell that, Libra. They may be the Queen of Cups. They may be a sensitive person. But with the Devil over here, someone is manipulating you emotionally. The Devil and the Queen of Cups. I'm seeing here that your person has a way of making you feel guilty. Oh, you don't love me. Oh, you don't care about me. Oh, this and that. They do this whole emotional manipulation kind of game. And it basically it takes two to tango, which means that you have gotten used to this. And they always promise you, Ten of Pentacles, we'll be together, right? We'll be together. We'll be together. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of long-term partnership. If you want to be with me, then you'll do this. They're not saying that, but energetically, they are. Because that's why sometimes the guilt trip works on you. And it makes you feel like helpless. Right? Because they use that. I thought we're together. Devil in the Ten of Pentacles. I thought you want to be with me. But are they with you? Because the devil there with the Queen of Cups, if you guys are married, Someone's cheating because there is a Queen of Wands and then there's a Queen of Cups. That's someone who is cheating in front of you and you're still accepting it. Ooh. Nine of Wands and a Hermit. Someone got ghosted. Someone's defensive also. Not you. Them. Feels like you're onto something, Libra. I feel like before they got found out, they said, I need some distance. I need some time. I need to think about us, which triggered you. What is wrong? Is there something wrong? Did I do something? There goes the guilt. But there goes them. Hmm. Ghosting you. I see now what's about to happen. I'll put the link in the comments and in the description box below for the extended reading. I'll answer all of your questions down there. 